Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how I made this skull breaking into cyan particles effect in Blender using molecular add-on which is free to download. So hope you guys will find that tutorial useful and by the end of this tutorial if you have learnt anything new, please hit on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way, if you like simulation videos, do check out my second channel and if you like that content, do subscribe that channel also and support me, link in the description. So now without any further ado, let's begin today's video. So here you can see I'm using Blender 2.93, nice. So now let's select everything in its defaults and by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So now let's import our 3D model. So here I will be using a skull model which I have downloaded from available online source. I will leave a link in the description. You can use any of the model you like. So now let me import the model. So go to this file, import, it is an object file. So let me select this wavefront obj and let me select this skull model and import so here you can see we got the model here now let me press 3 on the keyboard for side view now let me reduce the scaling so press s and reduce the scaling here and let me rotate this here a bit nice so now let me apply the scaling so select the spear sorry skull go to this object apply apply scale so this is important so make sure whichever object you are using if you reduce scaling or increase the scaling apply that scaling transforms okay so now let me select the skull and let me place this above here nice so now let's add some particles onto this skull so select the skull come to this particle properties and click on this plus icon to add particles so here you can see we got a single particle here so in emission we want all the particles to be visible from the starting frame only so here end frame I will change this to one so that we will get all the particles at starting frame only nice and also this lifetime I want to have these particles visible throughout the timeline so here by default it is set to 50 it means the particles will be visible till 50 frames after that they will not be visible so let me change this to 250 since my timeline is of 250 frames okay so now come to this source expand this one emit from select volume and distribution set it to grid so that we get nice distribution in grid from okay so resolution let me increase this to i think 40 would be fine so we got hell number of particles here okay nice so now come to this physics and deflection and enable this size deflection so here the name itself indicates it uses the particle size while deflecting okay so enable this one and come to this render options expand it so render as is set to hello so we'll change it to object okay so now we need to select an object for the particle so here you can use any of the object you like so since I am trying to simulate sand, I will use Ecosphere. So go to this Add, Mesh, Select Ecosphere. And let me place this aside like this. Now again, select the skull, come to this particle, scroll down to the Trender properties. And let me pick this object here. So now we can say we got that Ecosphere as our particles. Nice so let me if you want to reduce or increase the scaling you can do that so if i want to reduce we can reduce the scaling here a bit so i think these many particles are fine and i think i need to increase the resolution here now so let me increase this resolution to 70 let me see how it works okay so we got these many particles so for time being it is enough so now we are done with this particle setup so now let's move on to this molecular process so after installing this molecular add-on we will get this molecular option here so if you have not installed molecular add-on i will leave a link in the description it is a free add-on so download it after downloading that go to this edit preferences come to this add-on click on this install button and select that downloaded file it will be in zip format so select that zip file click on this install add-on and we will get our add-on here so it will be unchecked enable it this may take some time to appear for this 
so enable it and save those preferences and close that okay so after doing that process we will get this molecular option enabled just click on this icon here to enable that molecular so expand now first come to this simulate expand this so sub steps let's increase the sub steps count to get stable simulation so i will change this to 10 and come to this density now click on this calculate particles weight by density and in preset i will use this sand so change it to sand now expand this collision activate this self collision option so if you are using secondary particle system you need to enable this activate collision with others so in this scene i am using only single particle system so i will not enable this one if you are using another particle system enable this active collision with others also so now come to this link expand it activate particles linking also now initial linking expand this so here we got this search value to one so this is the linking value so let me increase this to 3.5 you can use the value from 3.5 to 5 so now let's come on to this broken value so let me expand this one so this broken value indicates the stretch of the link before they are broken so if the value is set to minimum the particles will break with a little bit of stretch and if the value is set to maximum the particle will stay together even though it is stretched so depending upon your choice you can set the value so i want the particles to be bind together even though it is stretched a bit so i will change this to 0.6 okay fine now come to this new linking and for this also i will change this broken to 0.6 so you can check out these values these are self-explanatory stiff damping everything you can check these values by yourself okay so once this is done so if i play this you can see the particles will be falling down to the infinity so we need to create a colliding object here or a floor so for that we will be using a plane so go to this add mesh select a plane let me increase the scaling so press s and increase the scaling of this plane here like this and let me apply the scaling so go to this object apply scale okay so now let's apply collision property for this plane so select the plane come to this physics property add collision so under particle increase this damping to like 0.56 and friction also i will increase this to 0.7 so again let me add a cube so go to this add mesh select a cube here let me place this here like this and let me press s x and increase it in x axis and again let me apply this scaling okay and also apply collision for the cube also and let me increase this damping and friction so now let me duplicate this cube so shift d to duplicate now press z to move along the z axis and let me place this here so press one sorry press 3 and let me select this both and let me place them here like this okay select the skull particles scroll down and click on this start molecular simulation so this may take some time depending on the sub steps we have set and number of the particles so in this way we can create this object turning into sand particles effect using molecular add-on so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye